Junior Burns. Okay, and your chef's name? Uh, Chaotic Custom Audio. And where are you located? Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. And how long have you been to take for? About five to ten years. Okay. How Off and on. Oh, okay. But the shop's been up around about five years now. Okay. So you started as a mobile tinter and then you... Yeah. Well, we're still kind of pretty much mobile, but we're kind of... We're, we've been growing faster than we expected. Oh, wow. That's yeah, cool. so the recession didn't really hit us a whole lot, you know. We do a lot of custom cars and a lot of... A lot of bigger builds, so we have a whole different kind of clientele. So you're saying the recession didn't hit you so hard. What is it that you do actually to get more business? Well, we do a lot, a long range of things. We do audio video for homes and cars. Okay. So that gets us so then we can sell the tent for homes and cars. Okay. We're really big on customer service. We warranty everything that we do. Okay. And how many tinters do you have in your shop? I have three, but I rely on one. <laughs> How come? He's the best. Is there any tips you can give about opening a shop? I mean, in Arizona, Phoenix, I guess it's Yeah, customer hard. service, it's all it's about. A lot of shops don't believe in that anymore. So it kind of makes it hard because when you're struggling and stressing, mm -hmm. first thing that's going to do is it's going to affect your customers because your personality and, and the way you talk and the way you handle yourself always revolves around that. When you come to our shop, you feel like you're a friend of the company's. So we make everybody feel like they're not uncomfortable. They're, mm -hmm. And then when they leave, they're never, they're never bitter. Okay. We've had one bitter customer, and that's because he walked into the wrong shop. He had a really bad day, so. Okay, what but, happened? Do you mind telling a little bit about No, he just, he was told a wrong price from another customer. Mm -hmm. A customer gave a quote for us, and he thought we were at that shop, and we weren't. And, you know, we are reasonably priced, but we, we specialize in more like high-end cars and mm -hmm. stuff like that, so. I mean, when he came in, in a, he came in, in like an 83 Corolla. Yeah, and people are pretty much aware of window film, especially for residential. In Phoenix, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a must-have because it's really hot out there, and especially with a lot of people, they have black cars in some, in this. I'm one of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> it parks in the garage quite a bit. <laughs> it's pretty hot. I used to, not as much. I'm not that talented with a heat gun, and every glass you got, you come up to now definitely requires shrinking. It definitely requires patience, and those are two things that I'm not really good with. <laughs> heat gun and patience. <laughs> I'm a really good spectator. I could just watch. Yeah, it's comfortable for me. It's comfortable for me. Are you enjoying SEMA? Oh yeah. Yeah. I've been here since Monday, and my wife just came today, so we're showing her real quick and. We're going to take our daughter out and Did have fun. Did she do some of the helping you in the business? Yeah, she does all the, the, the stuff I hate. Paperwork, management. <laughs> She's a graphic designer, so she designs a lot oh, of our work. Oh, that's great. So do you always do your own? We do everything our own, yeah. We do our own advertising. She makes our business cards. The design that's on my vehicle, my show truck, my, one of our show cars, she's done it. I tell people, you got to take the good with the bad. You just can't take the bad out on the good. You know, they're two separate things. You know, one minute it's good, next minute it's bad. That's business.